today we're gonna be dropping two 24 hour fish traps. So we're gonna be doing saltwater versus freshwater to see which trap could catch the most expensive fish. Now, obviously saltwater has the edge, but freshwater, you never know. You can catch some crazy stuff in the lakes here down in Florida. And who knows, we could catch uh, a platinum gar, a platinum peacock, who knows? So we're gonna be doing freshwater versus saltwater to see who the king of the fish trap really is. So obviously for the saltwater trap and the freshwater trap, we're gonna have to change up the bait. It's gonna have to be different, but we're going with shrimp for the saltwater trap because everything loves to eat shrimp in the ocean. I really should be using fresh shrimp. I'm just gonna chop this thing up into a billion bits and throw it down in there. This is just, look at that. Look at that prezi with just one shrimp. We're gonna put some more in there, but one shrimp, that'll crush. I should be using some fresh shrimp because me, Brooke, and Jack. Brooke went out last night in the middle of the night. You guys are gonna see the video soon on the fish, guys. We went shrimping last night and it was electric, guys. It was insane. It was the coolest thing I've ever done. I cannot wait to show you guys that video. There was thousands of shrimp all around the boat that we were just scooping up, netting. It was insane. I can't wait for you guys to see that video on the Fish Guys channel, the main channel. Absolutely electric. It was so crazy. Even Brooke behind the camera was scooping up hundreds of shrimp by herself. It was insane. So we're gonna set this guy with, uh, this isn't our fresh shrimp. It's just the, uh, the classic feeder shrimp. Should be using the fresh one though. Now today we are doing a freshwater versus saltwater fish trap. As you guys know, it's been on my radar for a while. I think we had to try it. You guys wanted to see it. I mentioned it in one of my videos. You guys were commenting, definitely do it. We're gonna do it, but we have our saltwater trap. Where are we gonna place this thing? On the left, I I'm thinking un underneath the jet ski dock always does so fire for us guys. Cause right under my dock here, I don't know what it is. You're not gonna be able to see it, but there's like a big sunken log down here. It's huge, huge giant sunken log that the fish love to stay in there. So we're gonna drop this guy right underneath, right on top of that. That log is where I want to drop it. I'm just gonna toss it in. There we go. Perfect. First trap's already set. We're gonna leave this thing for 24 hours. I'm gonna tie it off right here. And we're gonna be golden, baby. We are gonna be so golden. Oh yeah, it's right next to that log. I remember when I first moved into this house, I came over the first day, I look right underneath that log, nurse shark sitting right, right behind that log, just chilling. Anytime there's structure, you drop a fish trap there, the fish are gonna go inside. It's a fact. First trap has officially been set, ladies and gentlemen. The salt water is set. All right, we are at spot number two. There was a bunch of different spots we could have picked, but I chose this one because once again, the structure Look at this big ass iguana right here. Don't want to catch him in my fish trap. And we've seen a bunch of crawfish here, so maybe we'll catch some crawfish. And this, I'm using shrimp and a little bit of bread. So it's a little combo for the fresh water. It's very low, the water. Very interessant, low water today, huh? Now I'm just gonna throw this guy kind of shallow in this mud right underneath the bridge here because uh, guess what, structure? The fish like to cruise in and out of this bridge. Please, sir, I do not, I have nothing for you. Is he gonna attack me? You think he's gonna attack me right now? Oh yeah, perfect. That's freaking perfect. That's freaking perfect, dude. Now, the thing is, this isn't really a freshwater fish trap. The holes are kind of big, so we're gonna have to see how that works out. I'm gonna tie it on this rock right here. We're gonna have to see how this works out. So really, we need some bigger fish or like some big crawfish or something would be great. So if not, we may have to do some netting when we come back tomorrow. Let's go. All right, we gotta try one cast because I think I saw a big fish over here. Is that a log? It was a fish? It was a snakehead. I knew it. I knew it. Look at that beautiful rat in the water right there. The reason why I'm throwing this is because the snakeheads are everywhere here. So I had to give it one try. I did see a big one and they love a nice rat, which is obviously found in the Fish Guy Mystery Fishing Box from Lunker Hunt. A couple months, I think last month's box had these big boy rats in them. They were absolutely sexy. Remember, if you guys want to be a fish guy, shopfishguy.com. Use code FISHGUYCHRIS to get 10% off anything on the site. Plus, if you get two shirts or two things of anything, if you get two items on the site, we're throwing in one free shirt for you guys. Free mystery shirt. So go check out the site, FISHGUYCHRIS, 10% off. Oh, there's a snake head. Look at him, just roll right there. Don't scare him, don't scare him, don't scare him. Don't scare him right now. I threw it right on him. I think you scared God damn it. You just scared the shit out of him. I did, huh? Damn it, dude. I just didn't want to throw this rat into the tree and lose it. Did you guys see that on camera though? That was a big, a big snake head. They live under that patch every single time, dude. All right, literally one more cast. He's huge in the water. Look at the iguana. Massive alligator right there. Come on, Mr. Snakehead. Here's me, guys. We just made a TikTok on this. It's we're fishermen. We are gonna throw our $20 lure into the tree every third cast. And here I am. Oh, that sucks, man. That was my favorite lure in the mystery box. Oh, man. I have to go over here, though. I'm gonna scare all the fish. We're gonna have to come back. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow, guys. Fish guy Chris, how did I throw this thing so far? I threw it a mile. Oh, I see it. There's no way I'm getting that. It's impossible to get, guys. Oh, it's right there. Now it's impossible to get. Yeah, it's 
gone. Dang it, lost my Yappa rat. Shout out Lunker Hunt though. I'm probably gonna have to get another one from the mystery box. Dang it. Let's come back tomorrow and pull this trap. All right, both traps officially are set. Now we just gotta wait 24 hours. That's all it is, it's super easy. Drop the traps, you wait, you see what's inside. Hopefully we get something, cross my fingers. Who do you think is gonna win, salt water or fresh water? Let me know down in the comments. Who's gonna catch the cooler fish? Let me know down in the comments. It is gonna get 40 degrees here this weekend. So we got the, the heat blanket on the big pond because it's so hard to keep this big body of water, you know, a good warm temperature. So this is the best way to do it and it keeps it very warm. So we got the big uh, heat blanket on the fish for the weekend. It's gonna get 40 degrees on Sunday, which is crazy. It's absolute, absolutely crazy, unheard of. But tonight, I'm gonna be eating all that shrimp we caught last night. I cannot wait for you guys to see that video. I did get injured while shrimping, you know. I uh, I cut myself on a big piece of glass. Really, really hurt my foot. And then when I was shrimping, you guys should have seen me. You, you guys will see me next week in the video. I was going ham on these shrimp. I was like a Superman shrimper, running back and forth, netting these things up. I was using the craziest net ever. You guys are gonna love that video. I'm hyping it up because it is going to be hype and we caught some monster fish too in that video so please go to the fish guys subscribe make sure your notification bell is on that video is epic so i mean i took a I, I lost an ankle for you guys last night so let's wait the 24 hours pull those fish traps see what's inside see you guys tomorrow ladies and gentle fish we're here i brought my net just in case because i was thinking the whole night last night i'm like there's no i, I might have dropped the trap with a little bit too big of holes in here so i definitely didn't drop a freshwater fish trap but who knows we maybe got some crawfish let's see now 24 hours later have passed so that thing's been fermenting it's in the same spot which is great the water movement is this is just the same it's fantastic that's why i like the spot so much because i don't know why there must be a spillway down down this way really close because the water movement's actually pretty fantastic here not gonna lie sometimes the water comes up past this tree sometimes is way low so it must be dumping and there's some ice current but before i pull it i'm gonna take a couple swipes see if there's anything around with the net and i see a bunch of little when you see raindrops like that those are fish okay when you see little raindrops oh those are little raindrops no they're not they're fish see they stopped they stopped rain dropping right here because i came and scared them now they're over there wish i have my glasses I don't have my glasses today Oh my God, I just barely swiped. I just barely swiped. Like this guy could fit in the trap, I think. Or no, he might even be too small to fit in the trap. That's why I'm a little annoyed. Look at that minnow. I just barely, I didn't even try. And I just got one nice stud. Tiny Tim would love that. I think we're bringing him home. Let me just try a couple more swipes. Let me try a big swipe now. Zero. So I guess the key is to just not try. How did I just catch a minnow without even trying? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What the heck is in there? I don't know, I see some suspect bugs. What is that thing? I don't think I should touch this. There's like a freaking tick looking thing. Oh, look at that minnow. What is that? Is that a minnow? I saw some weird thing crawling and I'm kind of scared. I have a bunch of minnows in here. Like, what is that? Ew, there's worms in there. Is it a worm? Yeah. That's a nice minnow, I'm grabbing him. That's a minnow. Look at this little guy. Is that not a minnow? I don't know what this is. I think that's just a little minnow. I think we're putting him in the bucket too. Tiny Tim can definitely eat this. We're gonna see if Tiny Tim can eat this one. The rest I kind of don't want to go through because uh, I think I saw some like worm slugs looking thing in here and it was kind of creeping me out. Like right there, what is that moving? Is that a shrimp? Is that a crawfish? I think that might be baby crawfish. What is that? Is that a baby crawfish? No. No, I think that's a baby crawfish. He's on this leaf. See him? Dude, that's like a craw. That's a baby craw. I think. If anyone knows in the comments, let me know. But that is an, a living species for sure. And it looks like a shrimp, kind of. So I think that's a crawfish. Not kidding. Dude, that's a crawfish. Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm putting them back. I'm putting all this stuff back because I don't want to go through that mud. But there is a confirmed 100% crawfish. I think, we should, I think we should set, you know that big ass green trap I had the other day? That thing was way too big, obviously. But I think we should set a massive crawfish trap here because I know Jack's caught them before here and we just confirmed it by catching that little baby one. So let's pull the trap. Hopefully maybe there's some big ones in there, but that's not a crawfish trap. So I kind of messed up on that part. Let's pull it. That was a craw, 100p. Come on, there's gotta be something in here, right? This rock is great, it's my favorite anchor. Come on, come on. I'm just gonna run it to the bucket. I don't think there's anything in here. We got skunked. We got skunked. God damn it. Yeah, I, that was my bad. I should have uh, I should have definitely set a freshwater, actual freshwater trap here. Let me know in the comments what kind of fish trap you can you think I should drop here. I know for a fact there's a bunch of fish. This was just a very poorly executed. That's that's me. That's on Fish Guy Chris. That's on me for sure. So let me know in the comments what you think I should drop here. Big snakehead here, big gar here. We know there's loads of fish and crawfish. I think it'd be really cool to do that. I'm gonna net up, net around a little bit more and then uh, let's go pull our saltwater trap because we already know who's winning the battle today. It's gotta be the saltwater trap, right? Let's go check it. We're back at the house. 
house and obviously we're gonna pull our fish trap but we gotta feed tiny tim see if he wants to eat that monster minnow look at all the fish doing fantastic they're eating like crazy they're getting beefy nacho loaded griller status guys they're getting huge so it's good they're nice and full they look nice and healthy that's what we want in this tank it's going great you guys have been loving the tank series and it's going fantastic we're definitely going to be getting some more fish very soon but for now we're going to chill with what we got with these guys now i want to feed i want to attempt to feed tim the beast the literal mini beast i want to try to feed him that big minnow see if he wants to eat it because remember anglerfish or frogfish they can eat like quadruple their size so i did end up getting a bunch of minnows at the spot i netted for a while and got a bunch but i'm just going to feed him the big one so the fish trap did me no good, but the net did me pretty good. I got a bunch of minnows and I always like stocking up on them anyways, just to feed Tiny Tim. And we're gonna feed him this big boy right here. Look at the size of this beefy nacho loaded griller minnow. That's a stud and he's frisky. All right, let's just put him in. He keeps drifting to the back. Tim, you're supposed to be a front show star. So we got Tim, let me remove his plant so you guys can get a better view of him. He loves that plant. I don't know why he's just absolutely obsessed with it. Now, where's that big minnow? Okay, I'm gonna drop it in. The minnow's in. It's very big. I'm gonna try to move this thing down. Look at Tim. Tim's getting big. Look at the look at the cleaner ass. Look at the cleaner ass. He's eating the dead skin on my hand. He just can't help himself. He's like, I gotta clean, bro. The minnow is not sinking. We're gonna get some more minnows in here. Okay, we got minnows. We got minnows. Throwing them in. Okay. Now let's see from the side if Tim wants to eat. Oh my god, look how beastly he is. Oh my god! You guys can see him much better now through the glass. That was sick. This this fish is an absolute savage. Look at the cleaner ass. He's so Oh my god, he just got another one! Two minnows down. I'm telling you guys, that's two like decent sized minnows that Tim just put down like nothing. Like absolute nothing. And he's gonna go for another one because he's an absolute dog. And of course he's going for the biggest one. Look at him stalking it. No, he knows he's full. He knows he's too full. He got two minnows and his his belly has extended like crazy that fish is a beast dude this fish is an absolute beast look at him staring down the competition he's looking at us like give me more so we have a couple more minnows in there for him that one's definitely too big for him i'm gonna get that one out because that one's way too big but he has some options in there as you guys know this angler fish is a savage what a savage let me get this big one out because he's not gonna eat that one it's way too big for him but look at how much bigger he's getting already he's already getting so much bigger tiny tim for the win ladies and gentlemen gentlemen let's go he wants to eat that one so bad his brain is telling him eat but his body is saying oh my god he just ate another one he's a freaking balloon this thing is this thing is nuts that thing is a savage holy cow that thing is, let me let me put his plant back for him because he loves the plant he loves hanging in the plant so let's put his plant in there wow what a star an absolute star now also you guys know i've been thinking about getting another angler fish like a one for this tank right here like a bigger one because tiny tim is quite small so let me know by dropping a like on this video if you guys think my next video should be me ordering an angler fish online and getting one for this tank right here he's gonna eat all of them i cannot believe that he should not be eating this much he should not be eating this much he's like a giant balloon so yeah let me know by dropping a like on this video if you guys want to see a, a, an angler fish that i order online for this tank right here so i think we should do it 100 we have tons of minnows these are going to stay right here because i'm just going to throw them in leisurely throw them in leisurely i got my little live well here for tiny tim what a beast fish is a savage now let's go pull our other fish trap see what's lurking in these waters all right first things first we're pulling our fish trap need to get a bucket of water just in case there's some fish in here. I honestly probably should have waited to pull the fish trap because maybe if we catch some sand perch or something, we could have fed Tiny Tim see if we can eat a sand perch, but minnows is fine. So we're gonna see if we even got any fish in here that we probably could have fed Tiny Tim. Maybe we'll keep them and then feed him later with them. But let's pull this trap. From here, I can't really see because the sun's getting blocked by the dock, but I'm just gonna pull it up. Let's see what's inside, baby. Right by that piling, it's perfect. Oh, I see movement in there. We have an eel, we have an eel, we have an eel, we have an eel. It looks like a brown. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, keep them there. I gotta come up. I wanted to catch sand perch, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, there must be there must be a big one around here that's just breeding. There must be a big eel around here just breeding. Okay, hold on. We gotta get him in the bucket. What am I gonna do with this guy? No fish? Yeah, the, he probably ate all the fish that went in here because usually it's always just fish. And we have an eel. Usually I always usually catch sand perch in the in these traps. Usually it's sand perch, maybe a couple glass minnows, and this time a another eel baby i'm telling you this dock is insane right living right by the inlet is a huge blessing we have insane stuff around here not sure exactly what kind of eel this is i think it's got to be a baby green moray eel or a not, not a baby baby but he's a small green moray eel looks like it's going to be a small green moray eel but he's not very green he's kind of more br 
around, which is super interesting. I bet you that the fish went in there and they made a lot of commotion. And this guy found out that they were in there making all the commotion, probably swam in there, which is eating all the fish. What am I supposed to do with this eel? He's sick. I mean, I could put him back, but I mean, it's so cool. We rarely catch eels this size. You guys know I always like keeping them when they're this small and they're super cool like this. And you can feed them in a tank. We could put him in the little small cube if we're gonna get an anglerfish and an eel in there. Could, would that work? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if that would work. I don't know if I'm definitely gonna keep this guy, but that is a sick catch. Easily, you know, green more eels. I never ever see them online at stores. Really, we only catch them. We catch them at the inlet, big ones. One small one on a hook and line at the inlet, like probably like this big, bigger than this one. But we could put him in that tank with the angler maybe i don't know would that work let me know in the comments would that work i'm gonna do some research i don't know should we keep them i don't know dude it's a green moray love catching them thought i was gonna have some sand perch in there to feed tiny tim but definitely did not he definitely ate all of the sand perch but for now i don't know what i'm gonna do for now you guys better let me know quick down in the comments and uh we'll figure it out from here you guys let me know epic 24 hour fish trap day we haven't done a fish trap in a long time it feels good to be back we're gonna do some more of these guys for sure because we catch stuff like this so you guys let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Holy cow, we got him.